Hello Libra Welcome to your 2017 May reading And to better understand where the energies of this reading are coming from Or are generated in Or are expressed by I advise you to press pause and read the description And do check out my channel for other content if you like and to not stall with the reading I am going to pull out the cards in a diamond so with this diamond I uh, make out the issue and these are the inside influences which you are unaware of this is the outside influence which you are aware of this is what's needed for a solution and this is the solution what is coming clear if you continue on this endeavor and after this reading I am going to pull out an Osho Zen Tarot Oracle card not Oracle, sorry just the Osho Zen Tarot card and read out from the booklet and this card means what you must focus on or keep your Zen point at towards resolving paradoxes which you are find in the description so not to stall the issue is the Emperor in reverse but not the reverse uh, is not so significant in my readings but I will read you out from the Osh uh, the Los Carabeo Oracle, uh, not Oracle, I, would, what, some, I have something with Oracle now. So, I, uh, this is uh, Los Carabeo uh, tar Tarot deck, uh, Law of Attraction, excuse me for uh, the mix up in words, but I will read out the Emperor in this deck. And the Emperor means inner maturity. Your dream will come true more easily if you rely on only on yourself. If you stand steadfast in your values and never compromise your equilibrium. So that is your issue of the month. Is being in your center and to... Excuse me. The inside influence which you are unaware of is the Six of Wands, which is the reward. Um, I will read out fast the Six of Wands. The reward, the realization of your dream will occur when you least expect it. Perhaps it will be necessary to examine it up close or even reconstruct some parts of it. So that is influence here now coming uh, is the night or the, the excuse me the brain farting too much the page of swords uh, that's somebody deceitful in your midst uh, pointing at the page of swords Uh, the watchman, the seducer, a thief, a spy, speculation, observation, calculation. You may find a negative surprise while waiting for your dream to come true. So that is something you are aware of, um, Libra. And you, something you must take care of by remaining in your center. And a reward uh, is uh, subconsciously growing towards... And the solution is pointing also at the Knight of Pentacles. Do see all these cards came in the reverse. So that is also meaning something in, in, in a way. So this card, the Nine of Pentacles, I will read out for you. A conquest. Your dream will finally come true. Inheritance, travel, adventure, substantial earnings and the capacity to orient others optimistically. So, you have a reward definitely in your subconscious and in the near solution or what is needed for a solution is that working toward that rewards and somebody who is a bit deceitful 
uh, is in your midst and in your vi in your clear vision. Uh, so what is will become clear is the five of cups, uh, which is a positive card in this deck, I'm sure. And it's is happiness which will come clear. Dreams of love become reality, a reconciliation, proper propitious encounters, a question of love is resolved positively, joy from sons and daughters. So Libra, you have uh, family luck and uh, to continue further on with this very basic reading, I will now point the point of focus in uh, to resolve your paradoxes or the I will shuffle the cards and yes and we have a card coming up it is the dream which is the six of waters a minor arcana I will try and find it fast for you and read it out let me show you the card it seems a very romantic card for you Libra um, the dream so it is a suit of water six the dream uh, page 106 so this is a very big booklet, 106 with elaborated texts I can impossibly um, learn by head. The figure pictured in this, oh, um, wrong book here, uh, 6 the dream, 1, 6 it was, oh damn it, excuse me for mixing it up. Uh, so, 1 8. Oh, damn it. I wasn't right next to it. So, excuse me for mixing up. 1 8, the dream. Some enchanted evening, you're going to meet your soulmate. The perfect person who will meet all your needs and fulfill all your dreams, right? wrong. This fantasy that songwriters and poets are so fond of perpetuating has its roots in memories of the womb, where we were so secure and at one with our mothers. It is no wonder we have hankered to return to that place all our lives. But, to put it quite brutally, it is a childish dream. And it is amazing we hang on it to so, so stubbornly in the face of reality. Nobody, whether it's your current mate or some dreamed of partner in the future, has any obligation to deliver your happiness on a platter. Nor could they even if they wanted to. Real love comes not from trying to solve our neediness by depending on another, but by developing our own inner richness and maturity. Then we have so much love to give that we naturally draw love towards us. This is the dream. This has been said again and again, down through the ages. All the religious people have been saying this. We come alone into this world, we go alone. All togetherness is illusory. The very idea of to to togetherness arises because we are alone, and the aloneness hurts. We want to drown our aloneness into a relationship. That is why we become so much involved in love. Try to see the point. Ordinarily, you think you have fallen in love with a woman or with a man because she is beautiful or he is beautiful. That is not the truth. The truth is just the opposite. You have fallen in love because you cannot be alone. You are going to fall. You are going to avoid yourself somehow or other. And there are people who don't fall in love with women or men. They fall in love with money. They start moving into money or into power trip. They become politicians. That too is avoiding your aloneness. If you watch man, if you watch yourself deeply, you will be surprised. All your activities can be reduced to one single source. The source is that you are afraid of your aloneness. Everything else is just an excuse. The only cause is that you find yourself very alone. So this book is very um, uh, harsh and uh, straight to the point. That's why I love it. That's why I love these readings, basics and straight. So Libra, I hope you enjoyed this reading. 
and I hope I do see you next time uh, for the next reading and take care and uh, enjoy the channel and I will keep this going. Bye.